Here in Plymouth, a robot called iCub can learn like a two-year-old child. Anthony Morse is teaching it to identify objects. He programmed it based on research into how young children learn. We're working closely with various psychology groups um, and modeling the early stages of child development in things like learning the words for objects. From the models, um, we can actually put the robot in the same situation and, and rerun the experiments with the robot. iCub views its surroundings with two cameras. It searches for objects by focusing on things that move. But the way it links an object with its name is based on a new area of psychology research. The common idea is that children will associate a new word that they hear with the thing that they're paying attention to at the time. And that, although it's part of the story, certainly isn't the whole story. Um, if you consistently present a new object in a particular location relative to the child, you can then label that location when the object's no longer present um, and the child will link it to the object that's typically there. iCub models this behavior by associating a new object with the position of its body. By doing this, it can later predict what it will see. Everything is associated via the body. And that's a novel idea. And, and yet it's one that was able to correlate very nicely with the, with the psychology evidence that's available and make new predictions which are now being tested out in children. So far, iCub can learn to recognize objects. But now Morse plans to expand its model to incorporate other aspects of how a toddler learns. This work just starting now, modeling where a child's performance is good and then declines before becoming better as a new ability and new skills come on. Work with the iCub is developing not only robotics but perhaps psychology and cognitive science.